All right, we are talking about drum roll, please. Area of a circle today. Yeah. Okay. Now, so before we really talk about areas, is anybody else alcoholic? Are we good? Okay. Before we talk about area of a circle, let's review area of a rectangle. How do you find the area of a rectangle? Let me just go ahead and draw it. Let's see who has their hand raised. Bastion, what is the area of a rectangle? Length times width. Great job. So basically, what you're telling me is that we multiply um, one side by the other side, right? Okay, and they have to, those, those sides together in a right angle. Okay, awesome. Well, area of a circle is also length times width. Exactly, but there is no length and width, so we've got to get a little bit, we, we kind of have to work it, right? We, we got to learn the formula, but it essentially is length times width. Put your hands down. This is the mind blowing part. Okay. Here's a circle, right? Mm -hmm. All right. For let's review. What is the formula for the circumference of a circle? What is the formula for the circumference of a circle, Gabby? Yep. So C equals pi D. So here's my diameter, right? So if I were to ask you what the what the formula is for that edge, that curved edge, what would you tell me? Just one half of the circle's curved edge. Yeah. Yep, circumference equals one half pi d. Okay, I want you to keep that in your mind, right? Actually, let me, let me actually write it. All right, so for the for a half of a circle, so we're talking about the circumference of that guy right there, my curved edge would equal one half pi times di diameter. What also happens to be one half of the diameter when we're talking about circles? My coin? Yeah, so another way I could write that circumference of a semicircle would be to write pi r, yes? That would be the same thing, wouldn't it? I don't wanna know the area yet. You guys can teach this to your families later. Right now it's my turn. <laughs> All right, so now, um, let's say I've got this circle and I cut out the wedges. Do you guys see how there's like wedges marked in this and then marked all the way around. And let's say I cut all the wedges out and I rotated them like this. So it's starting to approximate a rectangle, isn't it? Okay. So they've got all these wedges. They're like pizzas. Like this is how you fit a pizza into a Pyrex dish right here, you guys, is you rotate the, edge, the, the pizzas. Okay. So it's starting to get, um, to where it looks like a rectangle. So let me go ahead and move this screen so our people online, if they ever look at this, can go around and watch it. Okay, now here I have another one, right? Same idea, here's a circle. I've cut little wedges out of all, both sides of the circles and I have alternated the orange and the yellow ones, but they're now they're much smaller, aren't they? Does this look more like a rectangle, guys? Okay. So what is this? I'm gonna draw it on here too, but let's take this measurement right here. You guys see where I highlighted on there? Okay, so I'm highlighting this. What is this measurement on the circle? What is that, guys? Length. Or let's let's do right here. What is this? Length. It's not it's not length. It's what, Charlie? Radius. radius yep. Radius. So that's the radius, isn't it? That's one side of the circle. That's a radius. Do we all see it? Okay, now let's think back to my circle here. Remember just a second ago, well, if you look at this, this is the orange part of the, the curve, right? This is the orange curve. Okay, so what is the measurement for this, for that orange curve? What is that? It's the same on here. It's blue on my screen, but what is the measurement for that? It's not the radius. Let's look again, okay? I wanna know what this measurement is, right? So I'm just looking for the orange. What is that measurement? What is it? That distance around the curve. 
It's what? Is it the whole circumference? It's the half, it's half of the circumference, okay? So up here, we have half of the circle's circumference. Do you remember what we talked about with that equals? Like what's the formula for that? It's one half pi d, everybody knows that by now, but what was the other way we wrote that just a second ago? Right here, Elin, pi r. Okay, so we're gonna write it like that right now. Okay. So we've got pi r up here along one edge, and we've got r down here along the other edge. Can you guys start to, can you, are you seeing it yet? So the way that we're gonna find the area of a circle is exactly the same as the area of a rectangle. It's length times width. However, with a circle, our length is pi r, and our width is r. You guys see it? Yeah. Now, that is not the final formula because we're gonna simplify this. So my area, instead of writing pi r times r, we're just gonna write, we're gonna simplify it. And what is, um, if I have r times r, is how could I write that simplified? Kinsey? Uh, area equals pi r squared. Area equals pi r squared. Because r times r is r squared not to r, right guys? Remember, think back. We haven't worked with exponents in a little while, but a variable times, like, uh, you know, if you got r times r, that's r squared. Let's take a number to just refresh our memories. What is, what is three squared? What is the answer to three squared? Um, Finn, nine, what's two times three? Six, different numbers, right guys? Yeah. So you just got to make sure that you're super clear on that. That's an exponent. That's not a 2R. All right. So this is the formula that we're working on memorizing today. Area equals 2 pi R. Okay. So let's do some work with that. Wait a second. Oh my gosh. Did I just say area equals 2 pi R? Okay. I'm going to have to cut that out on the video. Area equals what? I okay. Gosh. Sometimes the words that come out of my brain and down through the mouth, my mouth don't match. Area equals pi r. So for area, we are always going to use radius. We will not use diameter in our area calculations. Okay. So let's take a look at how this looks. All right. So our first circle, we've got a radius of circle O and it's three inches. So we are going to go ahead and expand the second line, substitute in our values. We're going to use 3.14 for pi, and we're going to multiply it times 3 times 3. All right, that's the r squared. 1r one, one is 3, and then times 3 again. Okay, so we're substituting in what our radius is. All right, so when we go ahead and multiply this out, we're going to multiply 3.14 times 9. We can multiply those threes together right away. Remember, in multiplication, we can multiply in any order. So we can pick and choose whatever we want to do first, but this will be the easiest. Say, okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, what did we get? Gage. Yep. <laughs> Twenty-eight point two six. That's hilarious. That's another. That's that's also gonna get cut out of the video. Twenty-eight point two six. Good job. Well, I can, as long as I correct them right. Now, here's the thing. Am I gonna do inches or inch? What What's my unit right now, you guys? What is it then? Inches squared. Yes. Area tends to be a little bit easier than circumference but just heads up you will be doing like area of composite figures as well so it's not going to be like oh let's just find area of some pretty little circles for the rest of the unit <laughs> some cute little easy circles we're going to find area of complicated shapes now how about over here what's my radius on this second circle how long? two feet good so that's what we want to plug into our formula here so he's got 3.14 times two times two, at this one we can for sure doing, do in our heads. Okay, so we're gonna multiply 3.14 times four. 
All right, let's multiply the three times four first. What's three times four, class? Okay, what is 14 tenths times four? What is it? 12.56, great job. Um, feet squared, yep, nice. Okay, let's do a couple more, yes. Because you can't use diameter for area. No, well, we did in this in this case only just because we had a radius of two feet, it does end up being four feet, but that is not the formula for area. Area is pi r squared. So if that number that is the radius is different than two, then the radius squared is going to be much different than two times the radius. Let's take, let's just pretend that that radius is eight, right? What is eight squared? No. Eight squared is eight times eight. It's 64. What's two times eight? 16. So two is really the only time when two times two is the same as two squared. Do you see what the difference is? Okay. All right, let's do a couple more. All right, this time we're gonna use 22 over seven. So in this first circle, we've got 22 over seven. What's my radius class? Great, so I wanna multiply times seven times seven. Don't forget to do it twice, it's R squared. We can cross cancel one of those, but then we're gonna multiply 22 times seven for our answer. Are you handing me have it? Caleb, 154 inches squared, great job. Okay. All right, Anthony. Okay, now this one's a little bit trickier. What's my radius over here for this next circle, guys? Liam? Yeah, it's 3.5. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna, again, we're gonna multiply 22 over seven. And now our, my radius is 3.5 times 3.5. We can still cross cancel, guys. We just have to account for the tenths. Okay, so let's go ahead and cross cancel the three and a half and the seven. What's seven divided by two? Three and a half, right? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah three and a half times. So let's do this. We're gonna cross cancel the three and a half. We'll divide both the three and a half and the seven by three and a half and we're gonna get a one here. And we're actually gonna get a two down here. So check that out. Oh, hold on, don't start multiplying. Let's do it again. Now we've got two and 22. Let's multiply that. I mean, let's cross cancel. So now we just have 11 times 3.5. <gasps> so easy peasy, let's do it in our heads, you guys. What's 11 times three? Okay, what's half of 11? What's half of 11? Five and a half, 5.5, 5, good. We've got 33 plus 5.5, 38.5, what? Centimeters centimeter squared, great job. Hala. So you're, you're not multiplying it by two, okay? Remember, mm -hmm. diameter, Hala, is two times radius. The area formula is pi times radius squared, which is not the same. All right, again, here's another example. Let's pretend our radius is nine. What's two times nine? What's nine times nine? 81. So nine squared is nine times nine. Are 18 and 81 the same number? No. So that's why we don't use diameter. It's not the same thing. We have to use radius, okay? All right, um, go ahead and in uh, turn to workbook exercise four. We're gonna toyo that. Yep, there's for as much as you got, okay? Okay, so, why isn't it changing? There we go. All right, number 1A, um, I didn't have you guys do 1C, but 1A was 1,256 inches squared. How many of us got that right? Okay, nice job. 2A, uh, 2A was 144, I'm sorry, 154 centimeters squared. Give yourself some snaps if you got that. I like it, okay. That was A. B, if you got there, was 1,386 inches squared. How do we do? 
okay? All right, and then C and D, I'm not sure if anybody got that far, but okay, C was 2,464 square yard, and D was 3,850 square centimeters. All right, give yourselves a pat on the back if you got this. And let's move on to some harder stuff. All right. That's okay. You guys are going to still feel really confident with this. Okay, I promise. All right, so area of partial shape, partial circles, this is easier than circumference because or perimeter because I'll, think about what we're doing when we find area. When we find area, we're already finding this whole area in here, right? There's nothing to remember about adding value, adding straight sides or anything like that when we just do a partial circle. So um, on this example, we've got one half and we're gonna use 3.14 times 3.14, my diameter is 16, so what's my radius? What's the radius here, guys? Eight, eight yes. So we don't wanna use that 16, we wanna use eight, and then times eight again. So well, let's cross cancel the two and one of the eights, so and now we've got 3.14 times four times eight. We already know 3.14 times four, do you guys remember it from a minute ago? 12.56. So we're gonna just multiply that times eight. We could totally do this in our heads. Do you guys wanna do it? All right, you do You do multi-digit multiplication. Yeah, Nora. What do you think the answer is? You got it, nice job. So Nora's got it, 100 and 48 hundredths. What, what's our unit? inches squared, good job. Okay, if we were to do that in our heads, we could do 12 times eight, which is what class? Yeah. 96 plus, what's 56 times eight class? What's 50 times eight, guys? 50 times eight, okay, 400. What would six times eight be? 48, so 448 hundreds, uh, 448, are we in tenths? Yep, 448 tenths. So then we would get, can you guys see where we would get the 100.48 from? Okay, all right, let's do a quarter circle. What do you think our formula for finding the area of a quarter circle is going to be? Try not to look. One fourth. one fourth pi r what? One fourth pi r squared. Okay, what is my what is my radius in this quarter circle class? It is what? Two. Is it? Sixteen. No, Remember, it is four. If we were to sketch out the rest of that circle, this would be our diameter. The edge of the quarter circle is the radius. So one fourth times three point one four times four, times four. Ooh, yeah, let's cross cancel one of those fours out of there. And we already know 3.14 times four. We've done like four times today already. Yep, 12.56, what? Feet squared. Feet squared, great job. Okay, we've got one more Toyo in your book. It's a little bit harder. Let's sketch it out though, okay? All right, the circle has three quarters of its area shaded. The radius of the circle is 10 inches. How might you find the area of the shaded portion? How do you think we're gonna find the area? Okay. See, all right. Who thinks they can give me a formula for this? Okay, I don't want the answer yet. I just want to start with the formula. Charlie? Uh, three fourths times pi r squared. Great job. And that's, that's correct because we want to find three quarters of the area of the circle. All right, what does the second line of work look like on this? 
times what times what, Liam? Uh, three, four, three, four, five, three, four, times 10, great job. Okay. I have an idea. This is how I would do this problem. I would combine those tens and I would multiply them times 3.14. And so I would end up with this, three, three quarters times 314. Okay, did anybody do it that way? But you can go, and then you can go ahead and cross cancel. So I would get 157 here. I Skills, it's, it's called practice. Okay, all right. What's my final answer? Who's got it? Alex? 78.5 inches squared. Let's do a little bit of quick multiplication. Three times 150 is gonna be 450, right? What's 450 divided by two? One. It would be 225. So is your answer reasonable? No. So it's gonna have to be around, somewhere around there. Nora? Well, we just did some quick math. We did three times 150, which is 450, divided by two, which is 225. So it's, but it's gonna be a little bit more than that because we, right? Okay, Mike. 233.5. Check your math. You're so close. Maddie? 235.5. Great job. Inches squared. Okay. Nice job, everybody. All right, homework this weekend.